Math 31, welcome to example five. So you can see we have another word problem. So as I read through this, really try and be on the listen for how many variables do we have and what are they? All right, so Dylan purchased tickets to an air show for four adults and two children. The total cost was $86. The cost of a child's ticket was $5 less than the cost of an adult's ticket. Find the price of an adult's ticket and a child's ticket. So when I look at the setup, right, or the, the question that's asking me, find the price of an adult's ticket and a child's ticket. So those look like my two variables. They're asking me for the price of the adult and the price of the kid ticket. All right, and, and money is one of the units, right? I see the dollar signs moving through here. All right, so let's go ahead and I will call X. It looks like I've got a two by two because I've got two variables. That means there's got to be two equations in here. So X is going to be the price of an adult ticket. And Y is going to be equal to the price of a child's ticket. All right, so let me go ahead and just separate that out. And then let's see what kind of equations we had. So it says Dylan purchased four adult tickets and two child tickets and the total cost was 86 bucks. All right, so if you have X dollars, you've got a drop on an adult ticket and you bought four adult tickets, what expression would represent how much you um, spent? And let me give you a for instance. Let's say for some reason we knew X was $10 and it's not, but again, let's say it was. If X was $10 and you bought four of those tickets, how much money would you have spent? I think you would have told me you would have spent $40 on those tickets. Well, what if X was $15? How much would you have spent? You would have done four times 15 and told me you spent $60, right? So if you spend X dollars, what expression represents how much you spent for X, right? So if I bought four adult tickets at X dollars a ticket, I spent four X dollars. All right, I'm gonna erase all of this because I'm still trying to get my equation, but we bought four adult tickets and two child tickets, and that total cost was $86. So that's one of my equations. I can hear it saying I spent, or I bought four adult tickets, two child tickets, and it cost me $86. So 4x plus 2y had a total out to 86. All right, and the cost of a child's ticket was $5 less than the cost of an adult. All right, whenever you hear was or is, that's like an equal sign, right? So a child's ticket was equal to $5 less than the cost of an adult. Well, a child's ticket was Y is, when we hear $5 less, that's subtraction, that's less than the adult, so I take the adult price and I lose five off of it. So there are my two equations. So I've got 4X plus 2Y equaling 86, and I've got Y equaling X minus five. Now, once you have your two by two, once you have your two equations, two unknowns set up, you have free reign. You could go with elimination or substitution. If you opt for elimination, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna do substitution, but if you opted for elimination, you would need to move this X back to the left because this equation is set up for elimination. When, when linear equations are in standard form, they're set up for elimination. And when I say standard form, that's AX plus BY is equal to C. All right, so if I needed to do something here, all right, let me show you. And again, I'm not gonna do elimination. I'm gonna erase all of this in a moment. But if I was gonna do elimination, I would keep 4X plus 2Y was equal to 86, and I would have negative X plus Y was equal to negative five. So I would have moved the X over. And then I probably would have just multiplied this equation by four. So that's how I would have done it if I was gonna use elimination, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna use substitution because this equation is already solved for Y. So I'm just gonna sub that in to that top equation. So let's see what we have here. Lots of erasing. But I just want you to hear it. There's always many options for solving your system. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna drop this right here. So this is going to turn into 4x plus two times x minus five is going to be equal to 86. So I've reduced my two by two system to a one by one, right? So I'm gonna substitute. 
And I did. All right, now I'm going to distribute. So we'll have 4x plus 2x minus 10 is equal to 86. So this is going to be 6x will be equal to 96. When I divide by 6, I'm going to get x is equal to, um, let me go to my calculator, I think 96 divided by 16. Oops, let's clear this out. 96 divided by 16, oh, not by 16. I think it is 16. 96 divided by 6 is, yes, it's 16. Okay. So it looks like X was 16. So the price of an adult ticket was $16. And then if Y is equal to X minus 5, if I do 16 minus 5, that is 11. So now, again, I'm going to write my solution up in a sentence, right? So I'm going to say here, the price of an adult ticket is $16, right? I'm using units. And the price of a child ticket is $11. All right. And let's just check. If we did buy four adult tickets, all right, and we added to that two child tickets, sure enough, I'm spending $86. It's always a good idea at the end to just go check your solution. That's one of my favorite things about systems of equations. You can take your answers and check them to your original work. If it works out, you got the answer right. All right, we still got another uh, applied problem, another word problem, and this one's going to be a doozy. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Bye.